He normally loves the cameras, but this was an uncomfortable setting for Donald Trump. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner. Not a rally, not a debate. This was a grilling by black journalists in Chicago who'd invited him to their annual event. I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country. Racist or no, welcome here! Infuriating protesters who felt he shouldn't be here. But giving the former and maybe future president a chance to address an audience whose votes he needs. Immediately, he was on the attack against his likely opponent, questioning hair race. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? Kamala Harris wasn't at the event. She said she couldn't make it work with her schedule since becoming the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. But she did give a response of sorts while campaigning in Texas. And it was the same old show. The divisiveness and the disrespect. Leaving her allies like a potential running mate, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly to go on the attack instead. Well, I think those are the comments of a desperate, scared old man who is, uh, over the last week especially, has been, you know, having his butt kicked you know, by an experienced prosecutor. And I think he's worried. Speaking of running mates, Trump's number two, J.D. Vance, was also in campaign mode. All week, he's been dogged by scandals over past comments, but he too was on the attack. Kamala Harris is a phony who caters to whatever audience is in front of her. As his boss back in Chicago was asked if Vance was ready to run the country from day one, if Trump can't. You're voting for the president and you can have a vice president who's outstanding in every way. And I think J.D. is. I think that all of them would have been. But, but you're not voting that way. You're voting for the president. You're voting for me. By day's end, Donald Trump was back in his comfort zone, speaking to adoring crowds and laying out his vision of a second term at a rally in Pennsylvania. The attacks are getting sharper by the day against the nominee who isn't even officially a nominee yet. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.